Six Ups here, back with another video, and today we got a very special video today, one that I am really excited to do. This is something that we haven't done in a while on the channel, so I'm really excited, and something very special. So, today we got another Funko Pop unboxing. Now, this Funko Pop isn't necessarily new, but it has been, this character has been really popular in the last past week due to, as you might know, um, the DC, um, the DCU movie itself, the Blue Beetle leaks, um, they got leaked with Shola Maridonia, Cobra Kai actor playing Blue Beetle, aka Jaime Reyes, um, he is gonna be fantastico, I swear man, like, apparently the movie is supposed to be coming out next year, and it's just crazy to see Sholo just like as an actor to, from now, from Cobra Kai, like to, like the Cobra Kai student to superhero, he looks absolutely incredible. The suit looks so peak and everything, straight out of the comic book. I hear a little people saying that the mask, the helmet looks a little bit too big. I think that's just specific angles, but I could kind of see where they're coming from. But other than that, he looks absolutely phenomenal, incredible. They could have easily put a mocap suit on him and CGI the crap out of this thing. But no, it looks like the only thing that they're going to CGI is his wingsuit pretty much for the most part. So other than that, he looks incredible. I'm glad that they went with the physical suit because, whoa, he looks great, man. And because of Blue Beetle, we have, I have decided to pick up the one and only GameStop exclusive Blue Beetle Funko Pop, the glow in the dark version, get it at GameStop exclusively. And he looks, looks absolutely sick. I cannot wait to unbox this guy. Just like, whoo, from the packaging, look at that. So good. He has the kind of like the Day of the Dead festival um, printing on him, like the, the After Dead. And yo, he just looks so good. And yeah, so we're about to unbox this right now. So now, without further ado, let's get into it. Let's go. Woo! All right, guys. And here is the Funko um, Pop Blue Beetle in the box. Look how beautiful crispy he looks yo i am super excited to get into this as you know me you know i'm a big Shola maridonia fan so to see him get this role is absolutely surreal and you know i i'm a pretty big fan i i love the blue beetle character um as you may know from the comics um jaime reyes is not the first blue beetle he kind of takes on a mantle um later in the dc universe but man he is probably my favorite um version of blue beetle probably right next to ted cord but man, he looks so cool in this. So yeah, so as you know, like I said, this is a GameStop exclusive and the GameStop exclusive glows in the dark. So if you're um, lucky to pick this up, um, props to you, man. And I know this, I think this um, was released about, let's see, I think that this Funko Pop is going on a year old. I think maybe a year and a half. I'm not sure. I'll look up the year later, but it doesn't matter. The point is, with the Blue Beetle leaks, I felt like this was the perfect time. I've actually had this in my collection for a month or so, and I wanted to release it around when it was a good time to release something Blue Beetle. So I kept on postponing time and time again, but now this is the time. And with Cholo's birthday coming up in a couple of days in June, happy early birthday to him, man. I felt like it was only right to do it now. So um, let's unbox this now and... Um, but before we unbox it, obviously we got to take a look at the packaging. So this is number 410 for his Funko Pop, Blue Beetle right here, the glow in the dark, and the GameStop exclusive sticker, beautiful all Blue, um, Blue Beetle looking at all of its glory, promotional art right here. We turn to the side, we get Blue Beetle again with the Funko Pop logo, 410 again, his name, the back, you, all the other collective um, um, DC characters you could get. Like Batman, Green Lantern, the Jessica Cruz version, Bane, Harley Quinn, the Joker. Um, those look really cool. Hopefully I can pick those up somehow. Um, and then the side, you can see him poking up right there. And then there's a little packaging of him on the side. Not much really on the bottom, besides some labeling and stuff. And at the top, same thing as the other side. So now that we unbox this beautiful art, now let's get into the unboxing. And here he is in all of his glory, guys. The one and only Blue Beetle GameStop exclusive Glow in the Dark Funko Pop. And 
My gosh, this sculpt, let me tell you, this is probably one of my favorites ever. I know I say that a lot pretty much in every Funko Pop um, review I've done, but it's true, you know, I feel like they get better and better, but this one, I'm definitely not lying. Just the detail and the pattern and everything, like, just my gosh, look at this. Um, we are going to be getting a close, uh, closer look at this. I'll show you um, up close in the camera, but... Just look at this beautiful sculpt and the wingsuit and everything. You could kind of bend it a little bit, but just um, be careful. You know, it is kind of like some light plastic material. So there it is. Just be careful with it. But yeah, the wingsuit looks great and everything. And then just the sculpt. Look at all that color and the beautiful Day of the Dead um, pattern and everything. It just looks so good. This was definitely worth an exclusive um GameStop for me and this is actually um this was actually on sale so like I said if you could find it go get it I definitely recommend it even though I'm our, I'm only a couple um, few moments in the review um definitely go get this because just by having it in hand like whoo man it looks good so whoops <laughs> can't drop high me right there all right slipped out of my hands a little bit but her fingers okay so there he is in all of his glory for the beautiful one piece sculpt all right, and guys, and for the, like, little, um, where can he move exactly, obviously, so he could turn his head all the way around to a full 360. I think that's really cool. This one, um, doesn't come with the spring, like most bobbleheads. I think this is, yeah, my first Funko Pop without one of the bobblehead springs, and like I said, the, bo the bobblehead, um, springs or whatever, the bobblehead, <laughs> um, they could get really annoying, and if you turn them too much, um, the spring can pop off, so be careful, um, what you're doing with the head, so, um, yeah, just be careful, but this one, they went the absolute right move with not giving this one a head spring, because, man, this one, it's just so much easier to, like, work and move and everything and rotate, and, yeah, he, he just looks really good, um, other than that, his arms have a little bit of slight movement. Other than that, um, like I said, all of, all some, like, you know, plastic and everything, so just be careful. But, yeah, there it is for, like, what he could twist and turn and articulation. So, pretty much the 360 head. And, yeah, I really, really like that, guys. So, yes, guys, a little bit of history for Blue Beetle, a.k.a. Jaime Reyes, after, obviously, some origins after the passing away of the... Um, pre Blue Beetle Ted Accord, you know, the Scarab was passed down to teenager Jaime Reyes and, you know, launched, launched on his back or his spine or whatever and granted him, um, you know, the powers and everything of the Scarab for the Blue Beetle. And the uh, Scarab's nickname, uh, nickname apparently or name is apparently Kashida, I believe. So, yeah, he looks really cool. Um, you could see him actually, the sculpt a little bit right there. I think that's really cool. So yeah, one and only Blue Beetle. So Jaime kind of takes on a mantle. So I think that's definitely, definitely really cool. All right, guys. And without further ado, you know we can't test this guy without testing the good old glow-in-the-dark feature. So we're going to go test it right now and let's see if it's really worth it. All right, guys, and oh man, this sucks. So unfortunately, unfortunately, the Blue Beetle does not glow um, light enough to where you could see him in the dim dark. Oh man, I think you could barely see him on the camera if I get a little closer. Oh man, that, I am so disappointed in that. I don't know, I'm, I'm gonna try to find a really, really cool shot for you guys somehow. Ah, all right, guys, and I guess putting him in any water or whatever didn't work either. I don't think you're supposed to shake it up or anything to make him, like, ten times lighter. But, like I said, man, I wish I'm going to find a picture for you guys somehow, some way, because the light-up feature, glowing in the dark, it looks so cool. Like I said, I think you could barely, barely see it. But, yeah, we're going to get back to the actual review now. Ah, man, I am so disappointed in that, not going to lie. I feel, and which is crazy because, you know, I look online and everything and I see their glow-in-the-dark features going crazy. So maybe somehow, some way, I could get it to light up even more. I know um, I saw a couple of videos to see apparently how to make it glow even more than it already does. 
And I don't know, man, I just see other people's and they make it glow way more bigger than mine. But obviously I'm here to review mine and mine alone. And let me just say with the glow in the dark feature, mine was a big disappointment. Um, you know, you could barely see it on the camera. I don't even know if the camera captured it, but obviously of course, this scope is still gorgeous, but apparently we are going to have to drop it down because of the glow in the dark feature. The fact that you can't even see it on camera is kind of a disappointment. And, you know, the main thing about the GameStop exclusive is you get the glow in the dark feature. But yeah, um, that is a pretty dang shame. But like I said, the scope is still great. Phenomenal. I freaking love it and everything. Um, he just looks so good. But yeah, the glow in the dark um, feature was just a for me so yeah let me know let me guys um let me know if you guys in the comments below maybe have one that glows more than mine and yeah all right guys and for two um kind of comparisons of realistic looking superheroes or like future um looking superheroes here we have miguel o'hara o'hara aka spider-man 2099 funko pop scale right next the blue beetle and like i said i prefer um, you know, the Funko Pops on the ground, not hung up by a diorama stand or whatever. Kind of like the integrated suit Spidey Funko Pop and many more, um, you know, that you could buy or whatever. So yeah, I hate when they're on the diorama stand, man. I just, I, I prefer them like, you know, on the ground. It just, it's so much better for them to pose. But yeah, these two scale really good together. Um, I'll put the title card up in the, at the top if you want to see the Miguel Spider-Man 2099 um, Funko Pop review and so you could check it out but yeah these two um, is a really good comparison and they scale really really well together so yeah man I don't, at the end of the day I really don't know like ugh, like I said the the sculpt is phenomenal really great but oh man just a glow in the dark feature I really wish you guys could have seen it on camera because in person whoo but yeah so as much as I hate to say it, like I said, as great as the sculpt is with the glow in the dark feature, which mainly is what the exclusive GameStop one is for. Um, yeah, I say we're, I would probably drop this now probably to like an A, 8.5. I don't know. I'm torn down between those two. But yeah, great looking Funko Pop on its own. Just really disappointed, um, you know, about the sculpt and everything. But other than that, it looks great. Like I said, I cannot wait for the movie and everything. And yeah, Blue Beetle is just going to be bigger than ever. Well, guys, and there you have it. There is the Blue Beetle, a.k.a. Jaime Reyes, um, exclusive glow-in-the-dark Funko Pop review. And oh, man, like I just said, the glow-in-the-dark feature, guys. Such a huge disappointment. Like I said, above all, great sculpt. But yeah, um, it, it just I'm going to try to figure something out. If I can get it to glow more, hopefully I can. Definitely guarantee. Um but yeah, other than that, I enjoyed it, like I said. Um, but yeah, anyway, guys, let me know um, what you guys think of the Funko Pop in a comment um, below. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and comment, and click the notification bells, obviously, so you don't miss any of my content. Uh, more videos coming soon in the future. I cannot wait for this movie. It looks absolutely incredible. Coming out apparently August 2023. Sholo Maridonia. Love you, man. Sholo, props to you. Literally a walking image of Jaime. Be there for the movie, day one, Cobra Kai season five, all the show those projects, you know, um, I'm there. But um, yeah, I cannot wait for this movie. Hope it continues to get um, to grow and get um, bigger and everything. Maybe we'll get some more pictures. Who knows? The suit looks great as always. But yeah, that is it for now, guys. So stay spectacular and I'll see you guys in the next time. Peace. More videos coming soon.